What? Where's my little van? Do you want him? Yeah. Want me to let him out? For a cameo. I don't want to. I have to pick him back up. He's in your lap. What do you mean let him out? Then I have to pick him back up. Want me to do it? I'll bring him to you. Okay. Yes! Yip yip! Hello. I've been away for a while. Training. Studying. Learning the blade. And now I am finally prepared to give the tutorial no one asked for. Dog onesie masterclass. After numerous failures and more recent success, I'm finally qualified to give this tutorial. I have made many patterns. This is the pattern that I've had recent success with, and I thought I could make some adjustments to make it a little bit better. I could not make this pattern any better. This is my best pattern to date. I haven't tried the new adjustments yet. The new adjustments are not good. So if this video is a botch, I'm gonna go back to this pattern because it yielded good results. Hope it works. It didn't. I'm trying to make something that looks expensive, that looks like I bought it at some kind of fancy dog boutique. I want the fanciest dog. It's my goal. Um, this tutorial is designed to help people who have Italian Greyhounds keep them warm, but I'm trying to make the measurements generic so that if you have a differently shaped dog, you can um, take the same measurements I advise and then draft your own pattern and then find success as well. My motivation is to keep my dog warm, so clothes. If your motivation is to help your dog feel more confident, close. To express himself, close. Step one, measure your dog. Here's a picture of the template you need to trace. It's from romprescue.com and I will link it in the description. This is the single best way to make your pattern is to trace it. So if you can print it out or trace it, do that. This is really the most important part of this whole project is to be really careful cutting out your pattern. The pattern is so complicated and strangely shaped that if you get it just right, uh, all you have to do is sew a couple straight lines. Here you can see I'm lining up my liner with my external fabric. I actually went the extra mile on this one and made it reversible, so I never use the orange side. So I highly recommend not doing that. It was really hard and took a lot of time. I'm cutting out the sleeve. The sleeve is kind of like this bell shape. I recommend tracing this one too. As you can see, it's not a symmetrical bell. One side is more heavily sloped than the other. The footage I have is me making a reversible onesie. If you want to make your onesie lined, I recommend sewing the fabric together um, before you start attaching pieces. So if you want to make it reversible, you can attach all the pieces first. What I did was I basically made two individual onesies and I turned one inside out and then I nested them and sewed them together. Here you can see I am attaching the sleeve. The sleeves, as mentioned before, are not perfectly symmetrical. The more curved portion is supposed to go towards the dog's chest. So we're attaching the sleeve to the purple part of the diagram with the curved portion facing the right side. And to sew them together, we are putting the two right sides of the fabric together. Attach with a straight stitch. I know the fabric color changed, but just stay with me. Stitch all your raw edges together now before you start closing the garment. This next step is optional, but highly recommended. If you make a little neck portion, you can make your onesie have a turtleneck. It can be as tall as you like. I like to have a very tall turtleneck on my dog onesie, so it's much easier to attach this rectangle to the neck of your garment before you close it. So here in my example, I did close it and then I added one later. That's fine too. It's just easier if you do that up front. This next part is very easy to execute, but it's not super easy to explain. So you're going to do one straight stitch from neck to sternum. The neck was optional, so if you did add a neck, stitch it together here, 
So in this finished product, you're gonna stitch from here down to the edge of the, of the straight piece. One straight stitch here, and you're also gonna do from the stomach one small teeny tiny straight stitch here. It should be like two inches. So if you did it right, you're gonna have a big hole right here and you can stitch the arms closed at the same time you stitch the tummy closed. So all of these can be one stitch. One straight stitch right along here. Sometimes it won't line up perfectly, that's okay. Um, do some pinning, do some maneuvering, get it together. Make it work, designers. Finally, 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 this is the last step. Turn it inside out, put it right sides together. Make sure your raw edge is finished before you sew it together and then sew it off with one straight stitch. When you flip it right side out, it looks like nice, pretty. I am very excited to show you the finished product. I think the dog looks so darling and so cute in this. He looks like a giraffe, which was kind of the goal. I was inspired by the trend of miniature lap giraffes from way back in the day there was this fancy commercial for DirecTV and they had some CGI miniature giraffes and that inspired this piece. Bonus onesie. I thought it would be so fun and cool to dress up my dog as Harley Quinn for Halloween, so I made him this Harley Quinn costume. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say some things now. You need to not say. It's New York. There'll be lights all around you.